The world of augmented reality or AR has been touted as one of the most profitable industries. Analysts believe the augmented reality market would reach 200 billion USD in 2025. A major shift in public perception occurred when AR effects found their way to Instagram and Facebook. Using these filters can be very beneficial from a marketing point of view should you need to shore up your business end with some bleeding edge tech. Today, we will cover the basics of the Spark AR Studio offered by Meta to get you started as a Spark AR creator as quickly as possible. But before we begin, you must know that Spark is updated rather frequently. Should you find yourself unfamiliar with the user interface as seen in today's video, you can download the version 133 executable file from the description below to maintain coherency throughout the tutorial. With that being said, let's familiarize ourselves with the user interface of the Spark AR Studio in the first section. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. The first time the Spark AR Studio is launched post installation, we get a screen like this. There are multiple sections over here, including the Create New section, where we can create a new project where we can start working on AI effects for Instagram and Facebook. We have the Learn section over here, where you can watch some tutorials that have already been set up by other people to get you started on your first project, and we have some intermediate tutorials as well. In the recent project section, you're going to find any other project that you have created or some other project file that you loaded from the hard drive, which can be opened from the open section using the file explorer as well. The watch new section keeps you updated with the developments of the Spark AR Studio and the new features and improvements that have been coming to the latest updates in this profile. The creator community is the Facebook group where Spark AR creators join together and share their experiences and creations. It is highly recommended to join so that you can be aware of the power and the features of the Spark AR Studio while getting some new ideas for your own project as well. The community forum is a helpful tool for beginners where users can direct their questions to experienced users so they can get their doubts clear regarding projects, features or even some tutorials that they are trying to follow. For now, we are going to create a new project and we are going to start a blank one. There are multiple templates that we can use that have some pre-assets loaded but to get acquainted with the interface, we're going to start out with a blank project and work our way from there. And here we have our Spark AR Studio project. The first thing that can be seen on the interface is the screen over here. This small window is known as the simulator. This basically is a representation of how the AR effects that you create will be shown on the receiver screen. You can undock it to move it around freely across the screen so that you can arrange it according to your preferred workflow. You can resize it depending on how you want to keep it as a display screen or you can dock it again after changing the size. Just behind the simulator we have the viewport. The viewport acts as a 3D representation of the AR effects. The small box over here can act as your mobile device or any other handheld device that can process AR effects. This white screen over here is the mobile screen which is already being shown on the simulator. The blank space in between both these models is a 3D space where the AR effects are going to occur. It helps create a real world emphasis on how the AR effects are going to be applied on the models that are being shown on the simulator. We have the asset explorer over here where we can load 3D objects, textures and some sound bites that can be used in the AR effects. However, just loading these assets is not the end of the game as we need to load them onto the scene hierarchy over here. The Asset Explorer just ensures that we have those assets to load onto the scene. Once we add them to the scene hierarchy, we can see the effect directly showing up on the simulator over here. We also have the property editor over here where we can adjust fine-tuned parameters according to how we want to shape our effects. For example, if we change on directional light, we can see we have the options to change the visibility, the color, intensity and other small parameters of the directional light. This is basically all the things that you can need to change the effects. Regarding the simulator, you can even change the model that appears on this screen. In the video section, you have multiple simulated characters that can help fine tune your effects to different real world models, be it with glasses, facial hair, skin tones, among other things. This is the complete workspace of the AR Spark Studio. Now that we're familiar with the interface, let's start creating our first effect and share it through others for testing. 
We're going to start creating our first AI effect from the Spark AI Studio using the Asset Explorer. You can import effects directly from the computer hard drive or we can use the asset library that comes pre-built with Spark AI Studio. For now, we're going to use the asset library over here. Once clicked, we can see there are multiple sections over here. The 3D objects are mostly shared from either Facebook or Sketchfab. Sketchfab is a very good resource for getting textures and 3D models that can be used in AIFX. However, be sure to check the licensing before sharing them publicly. The music and sound are useful sound bites that are mostly from Facebook Sound Design Labs, which can be used for free in your AIFX. The patch assets and script packages help you to add animations and some kind of logic to your effects. These can help your movements and the different effects to go from one place to the other, apart from some static effects like makeup, etc. Both textures and color LUTs help you fine tune the color that is being shown on the AR effect currently. It helps you add some tinting and other textures that can fine tune your effects to show more depth or brightness, contrast, etc. Blocks are a collection of objects, 3D models, and sometimes even sound bites. Blocks are usually created for a particular purpose as we are going to use them right now. We are going to click on View All and we are going to open the Makeup block. To load this block onto your Spark AR Studio, just click on Import Free and wait for it to download the effects. Once the FX are downloaded, you can see the makeup block being added onto the Asset Explorer over here. Click on Done and we can close the AI library for now. As you can see, the makeup effect doesn't show up on the simulator right now. This is because even if we have loaded the asset, we're going to have to add it to the scene for it to show up on the simulator and the viewport. As you can see, we can see the AI effect showing up on the simulator right now. This is an exact representation of how this effect is going to be shown on other people's mobile devices when they use this particular AI effect. As you can see, the property inspector over here can help you fine tune many of the parameters. You can adjust multiple properties of this particular effect. For example, it can change the eyeliner color, the eyeliner opacity, the eyeshadow opacity, among other things. For example, if you want to see something stark, we can change the lips color over here from peach to something dark so that it can show up on our simulator directly. As you can see, the changes get affected directly and immediately. Now, these things can be tested over multiple models and even a front camera if you need to do so, so that we can check for consistencies across different shapes, sizes, skin tones, facial hair, etc. This is just one block that can be used to show how effective the property inspector is in fine tuning these effects. For example, we can add another block on top of this one. We're going to use the asset library. We're going to go to blocks. And we can take the eye color block, for example. We're going to use the same process of clicking on import free. Click on done. And just like that, we have to add it onto the scene for it to show up on the simulator. As you can see, there has been a change in the eye color of the model. We can change across different variables and different camera models to show the effect more clearly. In particularly the eye color effect, you can see what are the different parameters that can be adjusted, be it iris colors, the iris opacity, the iris scale, etc. This is how you can create your first AR effect on the Spark AR Studio. Now, when it comes to sharing these effects, you can click this button over here, which is a test on device button. And you can send these to your Instagram or the Facebook accounts. Now, these effects won't be launched publicly and be shared with multiple users unless you choose to do so explicitly. However, this can be used to test on how the AR effects can be shown on real world mobile devices and serve as a great example of how you can test out these effects. After creating your AR effect, be sure to save your project. When you save an AR Studio project, it takes the assets that you have loaded, the changes that you have done in the property inspector, and save them in a folder format for easier saving and for portability reasons. Should you need to share the project or need to work on different devices, you can just move those folder and share it with the respective team members to continue work on the same project without having to create everything from scratch again.
This is how you can create your first AI effect on the Spark AI Studio. You can share these effects for testing among your friends and other family members. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.